What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here at About Trout, my name is James Gerritsen. I'm the owner and operator of the aptly named About Trout guide service operating on the San Juan River in northwestern New Mexico. In that vein, uh, the fish are starting to get buggier, the hatches are starting to increase, and I want to show you how to tie one of my absolute favorite midge patterns, the KF Emerger. This is a great fly when there's prolific midge hatches or when the fish are suspended in the middle of the column intercepting midge pupa. It's a quick and easy fly. I know it's going to work well for you. So let's uh, slide right into it. So I have a Lightning Strike SE7 size 24 in the vise and I am fish I'm tying with Semperfly Nano Silk in black and 18 knot. I'm going to come just like half an eye uh, length behind the hook. It's slid. It's not going to matter because I have 18 knot. So once I wrap to the hook point, I'm just going to cut that off, throw it in the trash, and then I'll come back up and down. And all this is going to do is just build a little bit of taper. I'm going to wrap down the hook shank until right where it starts to bend, make my way back up, and I'm going to stop just about in front of the hook point. I'm going to grab some black dubbing. This is uh, super fine. It's going to dub really, really tight. So this is how I tie them. This is a really fast way. So I'm going to get this rope, this dubbing noodle real tight, push it right back up and just build a little bit of a thorax. I actually dubbed too much. Got a little, got a little crazy there. Got to walk it back. There it is. And then I'm going to stop right there at the eye. Next, we're going to take some crystal flash, hence the KF in the name. I'm going to cut a strand and just double it over. And I like for my 24s, I like four strands for my 26s. I like two. So I have that one, one other turn to lock it down. I'm going to pull it back. And I like this Semper Fly because I can really reef on it. Two turns, we're good. That's the squeaking of my bobbin. And then we're just going to do one, two, three turn whip finish. Another one, one, two, three. I don't even hit these with super glue just because they hold so well. Um, and they're so quick to tie. And then now that I have these uh, KF strands, I'm just going to put my scissors right on, right behind that little dubbing bump and cut. And there you go. You have tied a KF. Black is probably my favorite color. I tie them in gray as well, uh, sometimes chocolate. But this is a really great pattern when there's a lot of midge pupa around and a lot of uh, midges kind of hatching. Um, I fish it high in the column, uh, mid column. But if you're fishing tailwaters, this is an absolute staple in my box. I know you're going to love it. And let me know how it works out for you. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. And I'll see you on the next video. One love.